Hey guys, welcome to One on One on SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta and this is Dane Bodingheimer. Hello, yeah. how are you doing? He created the annoying orange and a bunch of other stuff we're gonna talk about, it's gonna be good. Roll the intro. So first off, I wanna say congratulations on Annoying Orange becoming a television show. Thank you, appreciate it. How does it feel? It's crazy, it still hasn't sunk in. I mean, really. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> so when we actually uh, did the sneak peek last night, watched it with a whole crowd of people, it was, you know, complete excitement coming up to it. And then, you know, when it cuts to the commercials and stuff like that, that's when it really started to kick in. It was almost euphoric. And it premieres on June 11th, 8.30, 7.30 Central on Cartoon Network. This is good that we went that direction because I want to know how did you get started in the YouTube world? Now, I started making short videos with my brother when I was like 12. My parents got a camcorder and I just commandeered it. It started off there and it was just, you know, I'd make these videos and I'd show them to my family and we'd gather around and laugh at us being stupid. Yeah. And then it just, it kind of evolved, you know, then I started doing it with my friends and went to school and all that stuff. But the whole time, just kept making these short comedy videos. Well then, when internet videos started really taking off and all these sites started popping up, like YouTube, it fit perfectly. Because Annoying Orange wasn't the first thing that you ever did, right? No. The first show, or the first video I uploaded was called The Yanni Show. Yanni? Yanni? Like piano Yanni? Yeah. Yeah, it's a game show hosted by Yanni and it's pretty inappropriate. Let's roll that Yanni clip. Hey kids, it's me, Yanni! You made that. <laughs> I made that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My channel has always been just me experimenting, trying new things. One week I would do animation, the next week it'd be live action, whatever. And then you do Annoying Orange, and was the response to that incredibly unexpected? Yes, absolutely. I had done some other videos that had talking food in them, and they'd always been received very well. But yeah, for some reason, after I uploaded that one, it was just crazy. People were like, make more, make more, make more. You took them off of the Dane Bo channel and put them on your Annoying Orange channel. Right, yep. After four episodes, yeah, made a, made a, made his own separate channel. Exactly, that quick? That's a smart move. It was, it, well, it happened so fast. After the fourth episode, I was getting a million hits after two days. Just explain to us your plethora of channels. What do you do on them? So, uh, I have my main channel, Danebow. It's very much a testing ground. You know, it's if you come up with an idea, let's do it, let's try it. See what happens. And then you have a video game channel? Yeah, Super Bow Bros that I run with my brother. He plays way more games than I do because I never, I, I never have any time. When you're not doing Annoying Orange, what are your favorite videos to make? Yeah, I love doing video game mashups. It's my favorite! Which one is your favorite uh, mashup that you've done so far? It's probably two of them. It would be the Donkey Kong versus Mortal Kombat, and then Mortal Kombat versus Oregon Trail. That, that's probably my favorite. That yeah. one is amazing. <laughs> Get over here! So with Annoying Orange and a lot of like the video game mashup and stuff like that, you've had a lot of success on your channel. A lot of failure happens before success happens. Can you tell us about some of your failures? Yeah, absolutely. I Just taking it from the terms of YouTube, you know, my Danebo channel, the second video I put up did really well. And you kind of get that expectation like, oh man, I got a million hits, that's gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna skate through every video I put up, no. There was a lot of different things I've tried, a lot of videos I put out that had totally bombed that I thought were gonna do really, really well. It's about trying new things but not giving up. Just because one video does bad, just because you have trolls saying, I hate this video, don't let that stop you. No, just keep creating. Yes, exactly. It's Twitter lightning round. So this is how it works. We asked people on Twitter and on our Facebook that if they could ask you one question, what would it be? And they submitted them, we took them, and now I'm gonna give them to you. Wow. You can kill three people in the world, who do you choose? <laughs> I'm, I'm not a killer. Hey, are you a brony? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I were. What was your favorite cartoon growing up? Ooh, He-Man. Boba Fett or Samus from Metroid? Oh, uh, I'm gonna say Samus. How many five-year-olds could you take in a fight? At least three. Why are you fighting five-year-olds? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Do you want to be a wizard, a Pokemon trainer, or a Jedi? Jedi. What is your favorite video game and you can't say your own? Fallout. Did you join the Unity or did you kill the Master? Kill the Master. If it meant you could be co-captain, would you invest all of your money in a real-life Death Star? Absolutely. This has been Twitter Lightning Round. Okay, I want to talk about the annoying orange again. Kind of like start to finish where it started, where you are now. I'm gonna give you one minute. I want you to give the abridged super fast history. Go. Holy crap, okay. So I created the annoying orange, the first one back in October 9th. 2009 and from there it just grew in popularity over time and by the fourth episode had its own channel youtube.com slash real annoying orange and then from there it just kept creating episodes every week every week every week got more and more popular until I joined up with the collective we decided hey we should make this property 
into a TV show because it's so popular. At first I was a little resistant, but then I was like, okay, let's try it out. And we went out, made a pilot, two pilot episodes I directed. It was hellish, it was crazy, but it was a heck of a lot of fun and we came out with a great product and Cartoon Network was very receptive. And they picked it up and we created 30 episodes. We're in the midst of that right now. <laughs> What YouTubers have you been able to take from the online world and have them help you out on the TV show? Uh, let's see, we've got I Justine, we've got Bobby Jennings, Kevin Bruick, Tobuscus, who is our main human character. I made sure that we keep those core characters intact, the same people, bring them from YouTube. To be able to bring those people that helped, you know, make the show what it is today, to bring those guys along and be on the TV show means the world to me. La, 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 the Annoying Orange is coming to Cartoon Network in a brand new show. <laughs> Okay, so it's cool that you got to bring all those people from YouTube to your television show, but you had to fill other roles. What celebrity guests have you had the honor to bring onto the show? All right, we've got Michael Clark Duncan, Tony Hawk, Jeffrey Tambor, Danny Treu, Felicia Day, let's see, Malcolm McDowell, Harlan Williams, we got Tom Kenny, who's SpongeBob, John DiMaggio, who's Bender, Billy D. Williams was on the show. You got Lando Carissimo. Yes, got Lando. Colt 45. The list goes on and on. Do you think uh, maybe... Uh... You could uh, give us a little exclusive, a little source fed exclusive. Oh, you, you want to see that clip? Show us a little clip of something. I don't know, that clip? Anything. A clip? Could you okay. do that? I think I think we could do that. You guys, source fed exclusive. Watch! Here comes the pirate fruit ship sailing through the store. <laughs> I can't even see where I'm going! <laughs> <laughs> How many views has the Annoying Orange channel accumulated at this point? I believe it's somewhere around 1.2 billion. That is a number I can't even fathom. Back when I was in college, I made a full-length feature movie that I showed at the local theater, and 211 people showed up, and I thought that was like the pinnacle. Nothing could ever beat that. I am Dane. <laughs> the entire town of Fargo, North Dakota showed up. <laughs> but then fast forward to now, 1.2 billion whatever views. I mean, I can't even imagine. That's nuts, right? People get angry because they're like, oh, I only got 1,000 views on my video. It's so much. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand people watched your video, dude. Come on. Well, thank you for giving us all the information on it, but personally, I'd really like to talk to the orange if I could. You sure about that? Is he here? Can I talk to him? You wouldn't like me when I'm orange. I'm, I'm willing to take that chance. All right. Let me get into character. What? <laughs> what? Did you... Do you see this? <laughs> orange, you glad to be here? Hey, that's my line. What's it like being a big television star? It's like being any kind of star. It's really gassy. <laughs> Stop it. It's a joke. joke okay. Joke, now, joke, joke, what's joke, your favorite joke, part of the show? My favorite part of being on the show is motorboat. Like, like, real, like, it's, I know it's your name, but you're really annoying. What food would you like to work with? <laughs> I want to work with you, Joe Biscetti. What's your inspiration? Hmm. My inspiration comes from all sorts of places. Screeching car brakes. Okay. Fingernails on a chalkboard. Okay. That weird creaky sound, styrofoam packing peanuts. Can I talk to Dane now? Hey, Joe. What? Hey. What? Hey, Joe Biscetti. What? Hey. Hey, what? Joe, 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 Hey, I'm Biscetti. saying what? Biscetti. Oh, you're the worst. No, 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 no. Go away. No, 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 no. Try it. Stop it. You're not doing it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> That's the most messed up thing I've ever seen. I'm really happy to hear that you're staying on the internet while you're doing the television show because that's where your audience is, it's where you started, and I want to know where do you think the future of entertainment in regards to the internet is going in the future? Well, that's, it's a really tough question because it's constantly evolving, but I think you're seeing a lot of it right now with TV and internet, they're, they're, they're working together. And you know, with the internet growing like it is and YouTube becoming so popular and worth so much and you know, all of those things, you're getting a lot of old media coming in and trying to take over new media, but not having the right sensibilities about it. But at the end of the day, it comes down to, like my buddy uh, Aaron Massey says, content is king. All right, you guys, that's it for this episode of One on One. I want to thank Dane for thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank uh, you. You've been great. Is there anything you want to say to the audience before we go? Ninja Baby, attack! What? <laughs>